And now, your Big 2 Local Weather Authority forecast. We warn you first with meteorologist Derek Sibley. Well, normal temperatures are expected here into the forecast yet again for West Texas, continuing where we had during the weekend as well, with a lot of sunshine still to come. But we could be looking at the possibility of seeing some thunderstorms here across parts of West Texas as we head to around midweek and possibly around the end of the week. We'll get to that here in a second. Right now here across the area, looking pretty nice for the majority of our region here across the southern United States and down towards West Texas we go. Just a few morning clouds here across the area, especially if if you are traveling off towards the west, you could be looking a little bit overcast. But uh, right now, though, most of us here across our West Texas are looking pretty clear. And you can see that here with our current observations around 66 here for Midland, Odessa. We're up to 69, just shy here of approaching 70 down in Big Spring. If you are on the higher elevations this morning, you're also looking nice and mild. 67 degrees in Fort Stockton, while it's just near 70 down towards Pecos under clear weather conditions now at the moment. We're going to continue to remain this way as we head into the afternoon hours. As far as the skies here becoming mostly clear, we are going to be watching the possibility, however, of seeing a couple of thunderstorms potentially developing. We're watching a couple of mid-level disturbances move through the atmosphere, which may ignite a couple of thunderstorms, mainly towards the trans Pecos and Mountains, where you see in green, and up towards portions of southeastern New Mexico. The rest of us not looking too bad, just a few passing afternoon clouds as we head into the day on Thursday. As we head into today, though, we are going to be watching these temperatures rise just just a little bit to around 82 by noon. Lots of sunshine still to come by the time we reach 4 p.m. with a high temperature of near 91. We will see that southeasterly wind today around 15 to 20 with lots of clear conditions by the time we round out the day around 8 p.m. this evening. As far as those temperatures for the rest of us go today, we should also be checking into highs generally here into those low 90s, lower 90s down towards Pecos as well, just shy of 90 potentially here in Fort Stockton during the afternoon hours. By around tomorrow afternoon, upper 80s to low 90s are going to be into the forecast for most of West Texas here yet again. As we head to tonight, though, temperatures dropping down to the 60s under partly cloudy conditions and south to southeast winds around 10 to 20 miles per hour as well. As we head into your 10-day forecast, we should be looking at temperatures for the most part remaining pretty mild. I mean, you can see here low 90s for the most part as we as we get ready here to end uh, as we as we head into around midweek, especially now it looks like by the time we get to Friday, we could be looking at temperatures approach those mid to upper 90s, especially by the weekend. Rain chances for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday looking roughly around 20 percent for Midland Odessa, while the rest of us across the Trans Pecos and the mountains will see slightly higher rain chances than that, though. And it looks like by the time we get to around next week, perhaps on Monday. Temperatures cool down just a little bit to around 90. That's all thanks to a little bit of a cool front moving through to help cool us down just a little further. Now, you can also download the Your Basin Weather app, so that way you can stay up to date on what's going on with our weather in West Texas, whether we're on or off the air 24-7. This is a free app that you can get on your smartphone device on the Google Play or the Apple App Store. You can also check out our website at yourbasin.com for more information on our weather all, all the time as well.